today, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air, we will have a proper tracking system. They got their heads chopped off and God was nowhere in sight. Suddenly the implant doesn't sound so bad. No, the implant is a deception, a lie told by the king of lies. What if you had a secret weapon, an extra layer of safety, so to speak? How far would you go to keep your children secure? Would you be willing to microchip them? Experts tell us the technology already exists. But what if they really could become a part of our bodies? Well, guess what? They can. Meet the RFID microchip. Once implanted in your body, it could identify you as you pass through the airport, open the door to your home. It could even be used to buy groceries at the supermarket. Ten thousand people have already been chipped and the number is growing. The possibilities are limitless, especially when it comes to your health. Imagine you're rushed to the hospital without any identification, but with just one scan of your chip, doctors know your name, date of birth, medical history, insurance, blood type, allergies, even the medication you're taking. I can't believe you just paid with this hand. Like you just literally put your hand up and you're good to go. Like that's crazy. And somewhere along the line, I ended up getting a microchip implanted inside my hand. Designer Eric Frisk doesn't need a key to unlock his door. It opens electronically. In fact, he doesn't even need a key card or a fingerprint. He just swipes a digital reader with the back of his hand. The invisible door unlocker is hidden between the thumb and forefinger of his left hand. His girlfriend recently had herself chipped as well. They can also store e-tickets for the train, for example. And that's just the beginning. According to The Guardian, a British company has already fitted 150 implants in the UK alone. The organization is concerned that employers could eventually force workers to be chipped the way you may chip your pets, for example.